If you're looking for easy access to stores, restaurants, and more amenities, then look no further because you'll get all that and more in Daphne, Alabama. That's true. If you want the Bay Breeze, Southern hospitality, great schools, and affordable homes, look no further than Daphne. So the one thing about moving is that it can be stressful and overwhelming because you don't know where you want to live. I'll have to figure out where to live, how to live, who my friends will be. But that's why you're here, right? So what I'm going to do is bring up the actual map and show you all these different areas within Daphne and tell you all the truth about these neighborhoods. So by the end of the video, you'll have a good idea of where you want to live or at least where you want to start. And then we can help you narrow down the area that's best for you. Sweet home. People are gonna tell you that Baldwin County is growing too fast and that way too many people are moving here. Um, homegrown people are being priced out of the property market because prices are insane and the traffic is awful. And I'm not saying that's not true, but it's all relative to where you currently live and what you're used to. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. If you're from an area that has less than 20,000 people, you might think Daphne is this huge, you know, up and coming popular place to move to. Yeah, and in Baldwin County, it is. You're definitely gonna hear from locals or read on the Facebook how absolutely terrible, unbearable, nightmarish the traffic is. Um, they'll say, enjoy the four lane gridlock on Highway 98 and 181. Um, they'll complain how people drive really slow in the left lane or how they pull out right in front of you. And they will. And there is definitely some areas of concentration that have more traffic, like where there's new build construction, or if you're heading on down to the beach, then yes, absolutely, expect that. Well, that's to be expected. Expect some slowdowns from big trucks or tourists in general. At the end of the day, this traffic is nothing like Metro City traffic though. Ben and Dina, the average Chicago driver lost 155 hours sitting in traffic last year. Yeah, I consider this small town traffic like little slowdowns. I've sat in traffic for an hour. This is slowdowns that add maybe five to 25 minutes if you get stuck. Um, to me, this isn't anything to complain about, like big deal. Now, first of all, this is nothing. An hour in Chicago, not here. So let's dive deeper and talk about the schools now and how they are pretty highly rated. Yeah, also the fact that it sits right on the Mobile Bay and it's affordable. Yeah, that too, of course. But let's understand how the schools actually work. So there are three elementary schools in Daphne and they're zoned by the address that you live at. Now, you really can't go wrong with any of them. I mean, they're all pretty fantastic. Our kids went to a couple of them. I mean, yeah, that's right. Schools here, that. yeah, schools here are top notch. You've got Daphne North, that's K through three. Um, it's an older building, and then your kids go to W. J. Carroll for grades four through six. Daphne East and Belfort are both newer schools, and both are K through six. Then everyone goes on to the same junior high and the same high school. Yeah, and like just mentioned. Daphne sits on the bay, so you have direct access to the water, so you can, you know, go out there and go fishing every day if you want to. Go and catch those catfish and those blue crab and oysters and shrimp, you name it. Yeah, that reminds me, you also have Bayside Academy that sits right on Mobile Bay, um, but this is a private school and it offers pre-K all the way to, all the way through 12th grade. So yeah, it's definitely a tight knit feel compared to some of the public schools. Yeah, and good luck getting in. We tried a couple times and we didn't even get a call back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like a big transitioning year um, for them, so it's to be expected. Whatever. It's a very highly <laughs> in-demand school for sure. Hope you know so. <laughs> But Daphne also has Christ the King. Um, they've got Renaissance School of the Eastern Shore and some others like St. Paul's Preschool, which is an extension of um, the St. Paul's over in Mobile, which is another really great private school option. That it is. But we're talking all about Daphne today. So let's jump back into location and lifestyle, meaning like, what do you like to do? What do you need to be close to? 
where are you gonna be working? So let's pull up that map and really show you all the different communities we have to offer. And the first thing I notice when it comes to Daphne is that you see a lot of gray uh, on the west side that's actually hugging the bay. That's where the Daphne's main artery is. You'll see just about everything you need in the gray area right here. Now, if you look at Daphne overall, right here on this map, it shows Daphne in the entire yellow area. So you'll see how big the city actually is. It's pretty big. Yeah. And how much of that is still green when you compare it to the map on Google. The first area I want to mention is Old Town Daphne just because it's so cute and so quaint and it's oozing with so much character and some amazing coastal style homes. Ah, yes. Good old Jubilee Town. This is a beautiful area, but it's always a little bit pricier here. <laughs> yeah, and that's because these homes are usually updated with a lot of the bells and whistles and you're right there on the bay. Yeah, and if they're not updated and you're able to snag one, then you'll have instant equity as soon as you make some updates. Okay, moving on to another popular area and probably one of my favorites is Jubilee Farms. It has a swimming pool, a giant resort style slide, a fitness center, and you have tons of neighbors. Yeah, if we lived there, you wouldn't ever be home. So you'd probably <laughs> be on your golf cart, like going from house to house, talking to all these people or going down that huge slide. Oh yeah, I would. <laughs> He's a big kid at heart, y'all. Talking, <laughs> mingling. And what's wrong with that? That'd be the beauty of living there. Yeah, Jubilee Farms is one of the more modest places to live within Daphne. It has a lot of really, really great options in terms of price. Um, you're definitely not going to be breaking the bank and everything is new. So you're not going to have a lot of wear and tear on the homes or the neighborhood itself, which is nice if you're looking to get into something that's you know, really not requiring a lot of work. You really will get the most bang for your buck living in Jubilee Farms as far as square footage goes too. You'll be able to move right in, unpack, and just start enjoying life, you know, right away. Now, if you're looking for a different type of vibe that isn't in Old Town or in a new cookie cutter subdivision, then you may want to look at areas like Boshin Estates. Now, this area is definitely not cookie cutter. Here you'll find new custom built homes in a really great gated community with premium upgrades throughout the interior of these houses and they're just spectacular homes to take into consideration. And the exterior of the homes are all gold fortified so you'll love that when it comes to your savings. Yeah, if you're looking for something with all the upgrades like beautiful landscaping, large fenced yards, um, epoxy garage floors, plantation shutters. Yeah, with gutters because <laughs> that's usually a premium. But I mean, who would ever think that gutters are an upgrade? Right, like, but it definitely is. If you drive around and look at houses down here, you'll notice that gutters are not the norm, which has always seemed odd and come as like a big shock to us seeing as how much rain we get down here. Kind of weird, huh? Welcome to the South. I don't know. Gutters. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over, you know, how gutters are an upgrade. It's just, I don't know, it's crazy. It doesn't make any sense to me, but you know what? It doesn't need to make sense because what does make sense is that once you live here, you don't have to try and figure some things out. You just grab your fishing pole and just head out right to the bay. <laughs> Tony's job this weekend is to bring me home some drum and some redfish. Oh, I can't wait. It's actually, <laughs> I'm gonna get some red snapper because red snapper season just opened. Um, and she always wants flounder and trout and all these things or shrimp. And I just know she's just I'm crazy. I'm some sarcasm in your voice. And if that's the case, then why don't you bring me back some swordfish? Or yeah, that's what I'm maybe saying. Maybe some like, nice blue marlin, some these... yellowfish tuna. We need to land ourselves a big fish. Yeah, no, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what mama wants mama gets sometimes so and speaking of fishing daphne had a jubilee last night and which was pretty it. cool we missed it yeah <laughs> if you haven't watched our other videos we are one of only two places in the entire world that experiences jubilee jubilees only happen on the eastern shore of mobile bay right here in lower alabama and tokyo bay in japan so if you're going out that way check it out but if you're not right here has a natural phenomenon that happens when the weather conditions are just right. It has something to do with the oxygen and the water and when it happens it lasts about an hour and you get like Jess was talking about those flounder, those shrimp, those catfish and everything just floats right up to shore where you can just scoop them up with a net. And 
honestly, I gotta start paying attention to these jubilees on you know the Facebook pages because locals will let you know if it's happening. And yeah, I've you do. Always missed it. I went in on some of God's fish already. Mm hmm. All right, y'all. Just a reminder: Alabama is fourth lowest in the U.S. for cost of living. They don't tax Social Security. We have some of the lowest gas prices. Soon, lowering the cost of the, gro the grocery tax bill is gonna pass. Um, the area has some of the best schools, specifically right here in wonderful Daphne. If you can survive hot summers and maybe some traffic, this is the place for you. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> we can't really make that decision for you and no. we don't want to, but we can continue to make videos to help y'all figure that out. And if you made it this far, bless your heart, I'm Tony, and this is my wife, my business partner, my better half, Jess, and <laughs> she's like this all the time, so be ready if you work with us. We are your real estate fam, the number one relocation team right here in Lower Alabama, so if you're thinking about making the move to the area, make sure you give us a call, send us an email, or set up a Zoom call by going in the description box below and clicking on our calendar link. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful, and make sure you subscribe to our channel because you won't wanna miss anything of what we got coming. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. See ya.